This week's lineup at Crumble Cookies includes the confetti cookie, and then we have vanilla crumb cake featuring golden Oreo. We have a coconut lime, a maple cinnamon roll, and a buckeye brownie. So these are all huge cookies, and they also have the just the classic chocolate chip if you want to buy that one as well. That's always available. Uh, so we are actually going to start with the confetti. It is a fluffy and sweet rainbow vanilla sugar cookie decorated with colorful rainbow sprinkles. Mm. So it sounds like a very classic cookie, and it's pretty. Okay. None of these I noticed on the website. Now, some of these will be new to us, definitely, but I noticed that for everybody else, if you've been going to Crumble for a long, long time, none of these actually said new this week. It's just your regular sugar mm -hmm. cookie. Yes, that's exactly what it tastes like. It, um, it's no frills. Um, not bad. No, it's not bad at all. It's actually really good. And for some reason, when I have a cookie like this, I think of it more of as, as a kid's cookie. If you have a, a picky kid that, that doesn't want uh, coconut, <laughs> then this is a good go-to. But I know a lot of adults, too, don't want uh, that sugary sweet. Uh, because most um, the crumble cookies that are my favorites all, all have toppings, mm -hmm. uh, the, the frosting. And this doesn't. So a lot of you have told me, I don't want that over the top sweet cookie. This would be a good one for you. So this is just nice, uh, light sugar cookie. Um, this one is the vanilla crumb cake featuring golden Oreo, a cookie with white chocolate chips and golden Oreo cookie pieces topped with a swirl of vanilla cream cheese frosting crumbly golden Oreo pieces, and a mini golden Oreo cookie. Okay. Oh, thank you. You didn't have to give me the cookie. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you couldn't cut it in half, though, could you? No. There's lots of white chips in there. I like, that, that. like that frosting. Mm -hmm. The frosting is what makes that. It is. Although, I love um, I love a golden Oreo. Love a golden Oreo cookie. They're very, very sweet. And they, uh, they, they have a wonderful flavor. That is a... Um, it, uh, it's not um, stale or anything like that. It's mm -hmm. a very fresh cookie. I'll try without the cookie. Um, this reminds me of their cream cheese frosting. It said vanilla, mm -hmm. but that sure tastes like their cream cheese frosting, which mm -hmm. is one of my favorite frostings they use. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you have to finish it. I'm finishing that one because it's so good. Yeah, it's so <laughs> good that you have to finish it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, this this won't wait. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I wait till after. I'm gonna finish this right now. And, yeah, um, that's excellent. And the, the center of the cookie is very soft, not quite gooey. Right. But very soft. How would you compare the center of the Oreo to the center of the... This one's more dry, like sugar cookies are. More dry, firm, not underbaked a little bit. You know, it's just a regular uh, floury cookie. Mm -hmm. um, this one has just the center part. You can see how thick it is. The center part from probably there to there is very soft and almost chewy. Mm -hmm. And then that you got that... It sure tastes like cream cheese... Vanilla buttercream almost. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, that, their frosting's always awesome. That, for me, is a five out of five cookie. Yeah. The, uh, the uh, golden Oreo. I've always said, if anything they stick that sour cream frosting on, I'm gonna eat all of it. Not sour cream. Cream cheese. <laughs> Not sour cream, cream cheese. Anything they stick that cream cheese frosting on, I'm pretty much gonna wanna eat. That's that's true of that one, too. It's it's wonderful. Yeah. It's absolutely delicious. Um, the I'm next one. you don't want the piece of the wine. No, I don't, and some people, or like squeeze the juice out of well, the top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give us. I don't a, want the juice out. I'm going to give us a piece that that had the lime laying on it. Why don't you just put that lime in the box? You might want it for a picture. 
Okay, coconut lime. A yeah, this coconut felt firm. A coconut lime sugar cookie topped with tart lime frosting. Okay, a coconut lime sugar cookie. Okay, so the coconut's in the cookie. Topped with tart lime frosting and a fresh lime wedge. So it's a lime frosting, but it's the co uh, cookie, uh, the coconut's supposed to be in the cookie. Thank you. This one is a cold, cold. For sure. Yeah. And everything about this cookie was already made up when I ordered it. You um, absolutely taste the coconut. <clears throat> mm -hmm. The coconut is very, very strong. It, um, you, um, you can tell that it is uh, like coconut flavoring. Uh, I think you can because it's very, very strong. To me, I'm it's the frosting. To me, it's almost like um, it's so strong. It's almost like suntan lotion. I don't care for it because it's so strong. I mean, I don't hate it or anything like that. But it wouldn't be one that I would order again because the coconut is so very, very strong. Too much. Um, I think the lime is too strong. Uh, For and me, got, it's all about the lime. Yeah, I got lime too. Um, it's a really strong lime, and I agree. The coconut's kind of a the coconut. It's just it's, it's kind of raw coconut. Yeah, it just I don't know. It, it, it well, I do know. It's just strong. It's a very yeah, strong. It is a very coconut, strong lime. and it it it's all it's you have two very strong flavors on one cookie. Yeah, and it just makes me feel like I've licked the top of a suntan lotion bottle. That's what I feel like. Yeah, um, that's not my personal choice, but other people, you, you may love it. You may. You better like I, coconut. Or, and lime. Because mm -hmm. I think the lime's stronger. You got more coconut, I got more lime. Mm -hmm. You better like both of them because they're very strong. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the this next one. one, yeah. This is the maple cinnamon roll, just like grandma makes. My grandma never made that's it. That's exactly, whose grandma's making cinnamon rolls? Uh, or, yeah, or, yeah, or maple cinnamon yeah. rolls. You know, I don't remember... My grandmother was a southern cook. She made biscuits and gravy. Yeah, I was going to say, I remember my grandmother, Scott, making Sunday dinners, like the baked macaroni and cheese and stuff like that, like like home cooking stuff, but not sweet stuff. She yeah. wasn't one to make a lot of sweet stuff. Uh, just like Grandma makes, a vanilla sugar cookie topped with cinnamon roll filling and swirled with a rich maple frosting. So, cinnamon roll filling. Yeah, it has a pretty good dusting of the cinnamon on there, but it doesn't go into the cookie, just to you know, just the topping. You know what I love about that? That gritty texture. Mm -hmm. Of the cinnamon roll, mm -hmm. the filling. Mm -hmm. That cinnamon roll part, that brown part, is the best part because it's so gritty. What do you think about the maple flavor? Um, it's very strong. Maple's pretty strong. It's um, it's it, all, it's bordering on very chemical. Yeah, I was to say it's one of those maples that if they mm -hmm. went any stronger, mm -hmm. it would be very chemical, artificial. Like not that I'm saying it is chemical, artificial, but they come across that way. It would if it's really strong. They're right to the line as far as where they could go without me being like, nope, couldn't eat it because it's right. it's a very very strong flavor. That is a. a a delicious cookie and it's mm -hmm. a very very sweet cookie not one i would want all the time because of the maple right the the good thing is the cinnamon sugar kind of bring it back a little bit mm -hmm. so. love the grittiness of it mm -hmm. the cookie it's a it's a soft cookie but then again it has a crispness around the edge mm -hmm. of it yeah it's not quite as the only one that's been kind of gooey soft gooey is the is the oreo one right the other ones have been firmer this one I saved it for last on purpose. Well, number one, it's wet. It's literally a wet cookie. It's, it's huge. It's dude. glistening. But anything with peanut butter, <laughs> I want to try to save what I feel like is going to be the best for last. But now, after having that Oreo one, I don't know if this is going to beat it or not. Uh, this is Buckeye Brownie. I think that is. It looks <laughs> wonderful. It looks like a big brownie. Um, a decadent treat with layers of chocolate brownie, buckeye, uh, buckeye peanut butter, and a smothering of melted semi-sweet chocolate. Now this was already made up as well. 
It was? Mm -hmm. They didn't put it in the chocolate. Okay, that right shocks me because it was so wet looking. I thought maybe he took a ladle and put no, it over. No, it was already, he grabbed it out of the, the I'm assuming huh. it was a warmer or something like that and put it on the That on the surprises box. me because it's so wet. That's a thick cookie. Mm-hmm. It's like very thick good. texture. Mm-hmm. Yes, I agree. That's nice. You do you do get the peanut butter. I know it's very That's how wet it is. It is very liquidy chocolate. Um you get the peanut butter flavor for sure, but it's almost overwhelmed by the chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's it's right there. It um I like the peanut butter. But I like the their um, I like their other peanut butter cookies better. Um, the uh, you do get you do get the the actual taste of peanut butter though. Mm -hmm. I mean, so yeah. so you're they getting missed the mark there. No, they didn't. It is a um, it's a dark chocolate. I think that's what kind of takes away from it a little bit. Well, it's brownie, mm -hmm. and it's a rich brownie, rich dark chocolate brownie. So it is delicious. It's very, very mm. delicious. Yeah, but, that's my number two. Uh, given the choice, uh, mine too. It's uh, given the choice between, like, if on the same week, if they were to have their regular peanut butter cookie, um, or this one, the brownie one, I would take the regular peanut butter just because I want to taste more of the peanut butter. But no, there's there's nothing wrong with mm. it at all. No, just know that it. Um, it's very liquidy and it is going to get all over. It's gonna get all over your face and your hands. Yes, exactly. My favorite one's the Oreo. Oh, 100 <laughs> percent Yeah, I mean that that's like so far up. Which there. coming from a peanut butter lover is saying a lot. Yeah. That is a freaking good cookie, yeah. I'm telling you. And you know what, Oreo, the Oreo itself probably doesn't make much of a difference at all. It's all in the cookie and the frosting. It's, a, it's all that, that cream cheese frosting. Yeah. Uh, yeah the Oreo is on top and I didn't get the Oreo with it. You probably got a little bit of crunch from it, but that, I can't imagine. You did get flavor. that golden Oreo flavor because it's sweet. Uh, yeah. You know, Kevin and I, if we're going to pick Oreos between a regular Oreo and a golden, we're going to go for the golden. Yeah, like um, the we love the golden. It's, it's um, it's just a lot sweeter than the traditional mm. Oreo. So that is an all around sweet cookie. Yeah. If you're one of those people that don't want the overload of sweet, then you don't won't want to get it. Yeah, no. you'll want to go for the confetti. The confetti or the cinnamon roll, that, that one wasn't overly sweet either. I think that maple frosting added a lot of sweetness, but it, it had that maple too. Yeah. I personally would never get that coconut uh, no, it's again. not my thing. And like I said, I'm sure there's people out there who absolutely love it. It's just not my thing, personally. No. Um, it would be interesting to take a poll to, you know, see in the comments. Uh, when you which go cookie to, are you buying this Yeah, week? which one are you buying this week? Or two, when you go to Crumble, do you buy every single cookie? Or are you only buying, like, your very, very favorite? Uh, because if I was only buying one cookie this week, it's going to be that Oreo. That Oreo. Yeah. yeah it's and then the, the Buckeye would be my number two, only because the chocolate's pretty dark for me. Yeah. Not bitter, it's just dark. Yeah, but I do love the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.